Hunger and Thirst are back in working condition for 317, and their values have been tweets. I'm Neil, Chief of Brigade, and whilst writing this video script, I was mighty hungry. And no, I don't mean my Star Citizen avatar. The last I ate was around 2.30 this afternoon when I had an apple, and before that, a snack at 12 and earlier breakfast. So come 6 o'clock this evening, being hungry makes a lot of sense, as I feel it does in Star Citizen when those percentages diminish over the hours for both hunger and thirst. In 317, the speed of decline has increased, and I can say that I've noticed it. And here's the but. While I welcome the notion of eating and drinking every few hours of playtime to keep healthy, and potentially enable you to have benefits such as a higher stamina level, allowing you to sprint for a longer period of time, I can't help but dislike having what is essentially a countdown to my death each play session, distracting me from the corner of my screen. Much like hygiene and toilet breaks, I suppose I may prefer to partake in eating and drinking in a more relaxed way, and I have an idea that could help towards just that. What if my character's hunger and thirst had two stages? One, that is akin to what we have now, correct to everyday hunger and thirst that I experience myself, which would impact those slight benefits such as stamina. And another which is more lifelike, in line with how my body can go without food for a number of weeks and without water for a few days. Perhaps hunger and thirst could be more accurate to real time, this allows me to not need to take a drink or eat nearly as often, thus removing that pressure. Can dismiss the instances where a character needs to drink three or four bottles to top themselves back up to 100% when very low, and allow a group of teammates to continue with a mission without having to stop mid firefight to take a drink or they die. I quite enjoy the current system. Like in the way that a drink or bite to eat can satiate my character for a time, and stopping the timers from ticking down, I also very much enjoy the planning required to keep my food and drink supplies stocked, as well as foraging for substance in the wild. I also think it's a real issue that if my notion of an extended stage system was present, Due to how our verse is filled with help from our teammates, death from dehydration or particularly hunger could well be an unlikely event I find myself in. Perhaps another idea to help with that ticking death clock might be to remove the pretty direct percentage display and allow for more natural cues to the player, which could make me feel a little less concerned and distracted by it. I do want First and Hunger to mean something. I love that about Star Citizen. Preparation and organisation is my thing. I do, however, wonder how often other gameplay might get held up due to numerous stopping for refreshments when I'm in an event with 30, 50, 100 teammates. And then again, it could be fun to have a lunch break, as it were, for everyone's character in that event. So, as you can see, I'm on the fence with this. I think my main concern is with that death timer feeling. So, what do you think? Keep hydrated in that alpha and take it easy, citizens. One, all, team!